What's going on everybody? Today I'm continuing to reshow my collection and now I'm going to show my 45s of the 60s. So I'm just going to go ahead and get started, give some information along the way. So here we go. So the first one is his first single back from the army and that is Stuck in You with Fame and Fortune. Fame and Fortune. There you go. Um, I like a lot of his early 60s singles. They're good. Here's It's Now or Never with a mess of blues. Here's All You Lonesome Tonight with I Gotta Know. All right, these next few releases are rare and con it was a format called Compact 33 that was really short lived. Um, I really don't see the purpose of a Compact 33, but I don't have any of those except for an EP in here. But these are some of the releases that were Compact 33. And one of them was this, was Surrender with Lonely Man. Uh, that's from Wild in the Country. That's one, actually one of my favorite movies from him. Favorite. I think he really showed he can act. Um, and this one too. This sleeve is really hard to find in good shape, and this is for me the best it's gonna get. This is um, I feel so bad with. Oh, Wild in the Country. Never mind. I thought it was just advertising the movie. Wild in the Country with I feel so bad. This sleeve is very hard to find in good shape. A lot of it gets a lot of wear, man. This is uh, not too bad. So. Next is um, his latest flame with Little Sister. From Blue Hawaii. Can't help falling in love with Rockahula Baby. This, there's a lot of different variations for this one. Uh, Good Luck Charm and Anything That's Part of You. I think there's about like three or four. Maybe even a little more. There's like three or four different sleeves for this one. Kind of weird. Like different colors and whatever. One I think has both of them in purple, the titles. Some, some of them have something with a 45 RPM thing on the top. But yeah, this is Good Luck Charm. She's not you with just tell her Jim said hello. It's like Elvis's natural hair color right there. Like a brown. Like me. Um, where do you come from with Return to Sender? This was really his last major hit, Return to Sender, for, for a good period of time. In the 60s. This is a good double single. Or uh, this is a good single. One broken heart for sale with. They remind me too much of you. But, trying to get that glare off. Okay. Alright. This is one of my favorite songs of his. You're, you're the devil in disguise. With please don't drag that string around. There's another version of this on the label. Oh my gosh, that has the wrong 45 in it. That's weird. Okay. Well, anyways, I'll deal with that later. There's a different version with this with the B side. There's a label variation that says please don't drag that thing around. I think, or please don't drag that thing along. That's what I think it says. Um, if you if you have that, it's worth a good amount. They caught that mistake and they stopped pressing it. So. There you go. Devil in Disguise. Okay, it's in there. That's weird, though. Okay, this is Boston Nova Baby. And the other side is... I can't remember. Oh, Witchcraft. With Boston Nova Baby. There you go. So. He's, like, wearing crazy makeup in that picture. This is Kissing Cousins, I think it with 
it hurts me. Some of the sleeves on the other side look different. Yeah. It hurts me. There we go. This is a gold standard series one. This is Kiss, Kiss Me Quick with Suspicion. This was the first time it was on 45. Um, there's other gold standards like of Hound Dog and Don't Be Cruel with Picture Sleeves. Those are very, very rare. I, I don't even attempt to try to get those. So they go for stupid money. So I just got this one. This is the first time it was on 45. I, don't, I really don't have an interest to get those other gold standards. Especially if, they're on, if I have the original 45. So whatever. Yeah, there you go. This one's still hard to get. So. Alright, here's Viva Las Vegas. I think this is with for what I say. With what I say from... Yeah, okay. Yeah, Viva Las Vegas with what I say. There you go. This was a summer special. Um... This is one of my favorite songs too, Such a Night with Never Ending. That's an early picture. <laughs> yeah. Ain't That Loving You Baby would ask me. Ain't That Loving You Baby was recorded in the 50s. Like 50, I want to say like 58 before he went to the army or during when he was in the army. All right, gold standard, um, Elvis Blue Christmas with wooden heart on the other side. I think the back of the sleeve is different. Yeah, there you go. Now, there's another one here at Blue Christmas I have, but it has a different B side. So I'm going to show that in a minute. Do the clam. With okay, yeah, do the clam with you'll be gone. So, gold standard of crying in the chapel with excuse me, I believe in the man in the sky. Um, such an easy question with it feels so right. Okay, we're getting to a point where now these are getting hard to find. These, these next ones didn't really sell that much. Um, like this one is hard to find in good shape now. It's a long, lonely highway with I'm yours. I have this... I had this for a while, but yeah, I've ran into it a few times, but it's really hard to find in good shape. Because these are the singles also that didn't sell a lot, really. This, this is a time where other bands were coming in on the charts, most notably the Beatles. And he's not selling a lot of singles like he used to. Okay, here's um, Santa Claus is Back in Town with Blue Christmas. It has a different back, too. So, there you go. Alright. And here's Puppet on a String with Wooden Heart. Gold Standard. Alright, here's Tell Me Why with Blue River. I think that song was recorded in the 50s too, I want to say. Can't remember. It's the top of my head. Damn it, I just lost my spot. Where I was at. Alright, hold on. Time out, people. Okay. Got it. Alright, these next two singles are nearly impossible to find, and I have them. One of them I acquired very recently. So, first I'm going to show... Which one came first? Okay, this one came first, actually. Okay. This I this is um, was one... I still only need one more 45 Elvis' career during his life. 
which is another gospel release. It's his hand in mine with how great thou art. But this was the other one I needed. Um, and I got it last year, or this year, in good shape. Very good shape. Um, this is another one hard, really, really hard to find. It's Joshua fit the battle with known only to him. I have a little story behind this. So Thanksgiving of last year, my cousin's in the military. I went to go visit him in Little Rock, Arkansas. And I went to this record store in the area. I look up stuff, go check it out. Went to this record store in the area. This guy had a, like two boxes of just 45s of Elvis in various conditions, some rare ones. But of course, a lot of them I had already. But then I saw this, and there was two others. He had three of these. And this one was in the best shape. And he and I was talking to him, and they were all in various price. Um, I had to have this one. It's the best shape. It's I'll never. I mean, I never saw this one in person up until that point. And he had three of them. So I kept in touch. Long story short, I kept in touch with him. I went back to you know where I live over here, and about I want to say about four months later, I called him up. I said, "Yeah, I'm ready to buy that." We made we made a little deal, which I felt was a good deal. But sometimes the, just a sleeve goes for the price he gave it to me for. So I was very happy, and I. So if you're ever in the Little Rock, Arkansas area, try out uh, North Arkansas, North Little Rock CD and Records, I think, or Record and CD. This guy named Bill, I really appreciate him helping me with that. Um, but yeah, can't thank him enough because if it wasn't for that, I probably still wouldn't have it. So, and this is the other rare single. These both came out in Easter of '66. This is another hard one to find. Um, Milky White Way with Swing Swing Down Sweet Chariot. So, there you go. Yeah. I only need one more 45, man. And I'm having a problem finding that one. Never seen that one in person, either. Okay. Here's Frankie and Johnny with Please Don't Stop Loving Me. That's a good song from the soundtrack. And one day I want to do a video on the soundtracks and like I think that are the good songs in each soundtrack. I'll have to do you know a little looking at stuff before I do it. But all right, here's "Come What May" with "Love Letters," the 1966 version of "Love Letters." So and this is actually a promo I have. I don't have many promos, but I have a couple. So this is one of them. All right, here's Spin Out with All That I Am. Okay. Okay, this was a single. It's where the, the main single was If Every Day Was Like Christmas with How Would You Like To Be. I think that's from It Happened At The World's Fair. This one's hard to get. This actually has one of my favorite songs. This is Fools Fall in Love with Indescribably Blue. I really like that song. It's one of my favorites of the 60s. And I want to do a list. I'm probably going to cheat on the list I'm going to do. And I'll explain when I do it. But yeah, that's going to be on the list, definitely. I love that song. And this is a hard to single. This is the era, like I said, where his singles are hard to get. Hard to find. Because they didn't sell a lot. Okay, this is... Long Legged Girl with the short dress on with That's Someone You Never Forget. Which is really the only song that Elvis is truly credited to. Um, some people say it's about his mother or something. So yeah, that song right there. He has true credit to, I think him in like Red West or something. So there you go. They say he wrote a couple of songs with him or for him or whatever. Here's another hard one. There's Always Me with Judy. So. This is another hard one to find in good shape. Um, you Don't Know Me with Big Boss Man. So. You 
don't know me. Guitar Man with high heel sneakers. And you know, some of these sleeves have different variations. It'll say X for this album, or it'll say coming soon, this album. Um, so there's different variations. And I'm not going to go crazy looking for them. So, but yeah, this is Guitar Man. And high heel sneakers. Here's Stay Away Joe, or is this Stay Away? I'm sorry. Stay Away from Stay Away Joe. And U.S. Mail. I like U.S. Mail. It's like a diff. it's really different. I like that song. So. And this is another rare single. This is, and his gospel, like I said, his gospel singles are very, singles are very rare. Um, we call on him with You'll Never Walk Alone. And this is actually a promo. This is this is when they started using yellow. This is right. This is we're getting close to the point where they're gonna go to orange label. So there you go. And on the orange label promos, they use yellow. Okay. Your time hasn't come yet, baby. With let yourself go. All right, this is another hard one to find. And this is probably the most I ever spent on a single. Um, and that one is a little less conversation with Almost In Love. This is hard to get. This is, I think, the most I ever spent on a 45. And if I get anything more expensive, it's probably going to be Elvis's Sun 45s, I would say. So. And that was, the, and then it was a huge hit, you know, in the early 2000s. Okay, if I can dream, with edge to, edge to reality, I actually like that song. Edge to reality, yeah. So this is the start of. Yeah, this is the start of the orange label. And somewhere in this area, which I think, somewhere in this area is where that how great thou art and his hands and mine supposed to come out. Which is really like Easter of 69, I think. So, okay. This is Memories with Charo. Alright, good. I'm making good timing. I'm happy. In the ghetto with Any Day Now. And that's a good 45 right there. Good pairing. Clean up your own backyard with the fairs moving on. So. And the last, no, it's not the last one, though. No. Okay. Well, this is his last number one hit of his career. Suspicious Minds with, did it again, you'll think of me. So. That's a good pairing with song too. Okay, I lost my spot again. Sorry. Okay, stuff keeps falling. Can okay, if I go like that? Okay. This is Rubber Necking with Don't Cry Daddy. So this is the last single of the 60s right here. Okay. There you go. All right, now I'm gonna show the EPs of the '60s, which I have them all, um, and some are very hard to get. But they didn't sell worth a crap. Um, but this is the first EP I have. This is a compact 33 of Flaming Star. It contains songs from Flaming Star and some other ones like "It's Now or Never" and "Are You Lonesome Tonight." There you go. So Elvis by request. Then you had. Follow that dream. And honestly, around this time, EPs were getting taboo by the 60s. So, just follow that dream. Actually, my grandparents lived not too far from where this um, movie was filmed. Near Wiki Watchy. Because my, parents lived, my grandparents lived right by Wiki Watchy when I was a kid. We used to visit all the time. Okay. This is Kid Galahad. Okay. 
And this is Viva Las Vegas. And these next two are really hard to find, especially the last one. But the first one is Tickle Me. It's like residue from a, a sticker or something right there. It really bothers me. But it's in good shape, this one. So. Tickle Me. And the very last one. Easy Come, Easy Go. So, all right, that's it for my 45s. I'm glad on the time, so I'm going to end it right here. So stay tuned when I redo my 70s collection and post-death and 45s. So I will see you guys soon, okay? So I'll see you later. Bye.